Underneath the overcast skies of Calusa County's rice fields, there's a war going on. You know, you could get a couple hundred pounds a day. The soldier on the ground, Paul Ebb. The enemy, crawfish. They're not indigenous, so I don't know how they got out here. Paul doesn't know a lot about the crawfish he's catching, but he does know that rice farmers hate them. They actually eat the vegetation. Not only are freshwater lobsters hungry, but they're also destroying irrigation canals. What they do is they burrow down in the ground and they create little burrows that go through the levee. And down here we had the whole levee break out and it'll empty a field in an hour. Decades ago, pesticides used to control the crawfish population. Today, traps do. All right, so Paul just emptied out his traps and now we're headed over to the processing plant in Calusa. This is where Raul Martinez takes over. The big crawfish and this one like the regular crawfish going, going right here. Raul loves his job, but there is some occupational hazards. They have big, big paws. Ah, oh, yeah, ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> On a good day, fishermen can bring in nearly 300 pounds of crawfish. And right now, the going rate is a buck a pound. Yeah. So where are these guys gonna go? Some, sometimes they can go uh, to Dallas, uh, they go to Los Angeles. Raul says anywhere from 55 to 100,000 pounds of Calusa crawfish will be shipped all over the U.S. So keep up the good work, Paul. There's a lot of crawfish boils waiting for these pesky and delicious crawfish. Hey, thanks for watching and check out more videos just like this. Also, let me know in the comments what I should check out next.